بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رمضان بيكس بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن والاه All praises belongs to Allah سبحانه وتعالى and peace and salutations be upon the final messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Dear viewers, my dear brothers and sisters, welcome to Ramadan Picks. From the outset, we all must say all praises belongs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. For indeed, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed us with this very, very exciting moment, with a very exciting month, the month of Ramadan. We all can remember the last few days during our last Ramadan and how sad we were. We had these mixed emotions because you have Eid, and it's a day of happiness, but you have these last few days and hours left before Ramadan ends and you just feel the sadness because it's so special to us and it's about to leave us. A guest knocked our door and a guest that we love was going to depart. And we asked Allah, we said, Ya Allah, give us life, shower upon us your mercy and give us life to witness another Ramadan. And Alhamdulillah, here we are receiving this guest known as Ramadan again. So all praises belongs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the special month. My dear brothers and sisters, the month of Ramadan is known for several reasons. It is known as the month of Quran because the Quran was revealed in the month of Ramadan. It is known as the month of Taqwa because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala cited Taqwa as one of the goals that should be achieved when we fast. And the month of Ramadan is also synonymous with fasting. And with this, we can say that the month of Ramadan is also known as the month of fasting. One of the names of the month of Ramadan is the month of mercy. Because indeed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this month frees so many people from the hellfire. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us from amongst these people. And that is why my dear brothers and sisters, it's important that at this juncture we speak about the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. No one should ever feel that they are beyond the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that they cannot be engulfed by the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I say this now because we have the whole month ahead. Nobody should say, my past is too bad. My sins are too deep. I've spent, you know, so much time disobeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that not even this month can make me feel happy, can make me, you know, feel a sense of solace, can give me hope. I say to you, say, a'udhu billahi min ash rajim rid your day rid your moment from the whispers of shaitan and concentrate on the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and this month that is known as the month of mercy you are not beyond the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah says in his book that my mercy has engulfed and encompassed everything there's nothing beyond it my dear brothers and sisters so you know take hope from this take hope that Allah has blessed you to witness this month this month which is a month of mercy and take great hope in the fact that the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is so vast. You know what, my dear brothers and sisters? We see mercy around us. We see the mercy of a mother to her child, a father to his children. He goes to work and he earns for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, insha'Allah. But behind that, there's a mercy that he wants to be diligent to his children. He wants to be able to provide for them, right? We see the mercy of animals and, and you know, between, uh, you know, a mother and, 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 and its offspring. We see mercy there, subhanAllah. And we see the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the oxygen that exists in our hearts that beat and our ability to breathe and the food that we have, the financial standing we enjoy, the material well-being that Allah has given us, even though we know that we have sins and we know we lack diligence with our ibadah. We see this mercy. But you know what? This is just one portion of Allah's mercy. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam taught us that Allah has divided His mercy into 100 parts. All the mercy we see in this world is just one part. 99 parts Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has saved to use upon us on the day of Qiyamah. My beloved brothers and sisters, smile. Don't let the past bog you down. Sit up, take a deep breath and enjoy this guest that has arrived, the month of Ramadan.
Worship Allah diligently. Ask Allah to forgive you and don't lose hope in the mercy of Allah. May Allah shower upon us mercy and make us from amongst the forgiven and freed from the hellfire with the passing of the month. Ameen. I love you all for the sake of Allah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.